so out of all my um, Air Max, you know, if I had to pick one, um, this would probably be um, be my favourite one. Um, many people's grails. Um, I know it's yours. Yeah. Uh, why? Why does everyone <laughs> do this to me? It's Sorry. just like, you know. <sighs> yeah. So. Yeah. I managed to pick these up DS, um, like friends sold them for you know a pretty good price for, for what they are. Um, but yeah, a lovely shoe. And again, like I said, I'm DS these at one of the Crep City events. <sighs>
such like such nice material. And again, oh, wow. I don't think I've worn these. Uh, yeah, they're like super nice. Mm -hmm. but I haven't. I think I've only worn them maybe like once or twice. Wow. It's, but they are really, really nice, aren't they? Yeah, the thing I find, especially with Asics and Taconium, the quality is like so yeah. amazing. Which is why I don't know why I don't buy more of them, but... Mm. And they like look so diddy as well, I don't know. It doesn't look like super small. Yeah. So basically I bought these, so Max 96. Mm -hmm. um, and I bought like a whole outfit to like wear with these trainers because I was going to be undressing them oh, at, wow. um, at Crep City. And then... The air bubble was cloudy and everyone's always like, you know, get out of your hairdryer, get out of the hairdryer. So now I've always been like, no, I'm not going to do that. Whereas mm -hmm. the night before I decided to get out a hairdryer and see if I could take away the crumble. Mm -hmm. um, I think the hairdryer was on heat. And then my sister who was around, she was like, I can smell like someone's burning, stop, stop, stop. I couldn't smell it. But then I could see there was like a tiny, tiny little hairline like crack. But I was like, it's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. And every step I took from my flat to Shoreditch to go to Crep City, this was cracking oh, and cracking no. and cracking um, and I literally I think I got like one photo there and then that's it they died on me they died on me at Great Crep City so R.I.P. Um, R.I.P. That's uh, such a shame it's, it's such a really nice shoe it's as well. so nice and this was like I've got another pair of Night Sixes but I bought them off eBay and they, they were they came and they were kind of a bit beat up to be honest so mm -hmm. I didn't really like them but I really liked these colours and like, I hate navy but I, like these are royal blue so mm -hmm. that was okay they're like such a nice summer shoe and I was so so gutted That's a yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely gone, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is like one of I love like ninety sevens. Like mm -hmm. they really are my favourite. Such a nice uh, summer shoe. Mm -hmm. And what's really nice is that it's got the if you have a look, it's got like the leather tongue. Like normally you'd have the material. Yeah. So it's full leather. Um, like really like just simple but like classic. Like mm -hmm. it's such a nice shoe. It's pretty cool. And this is where they took um, iconic um, design from their archive. So these flashes. Um, were basically one of the ones that were in their arch archive mm -hmm. and then obviously they put an attack on it. Oh, so snap. Okay. Yeah. So we've got Harachi Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very much a Marmite trainer to be honest. Like a lot of people hate on it, but I, I like this trainer. Um, so me and my, me and my, and my sister, so she got them first mm -hmm. and then obviously I had to get them as well. Like. And then I managed to pick up these of a friend who was selling them. Oh, wow. Yeah, Matching. so, yeah, yeah. That's cute. <laughs> I will be that person. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we've got the, the kids' pair as well, so. They'll look pretty dope. Pretty important pair, so again, OG box. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, was, this is like my most expensive pair of trainers I've bought. And they need um, a little bit of re-gluing, but. <clears throat> Sick. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, this was the first ever, obviously not this particular pair, but this was the first, um, you know, one of the first, it is the first Harachi um, that kind of started it all off. But yeah, it needs, um, needs a re-glue. So again, I wore this to a Crep City event, um, mm -hmm. undies them there, and uh, they started coming away. But they only need like a simple re-glue, but bought yeah. those like DS, you've got the square, wow. square tag as well. So yeah. I think it's only the first three models mm -hmm. um, in the Harachi series that had the square toe, uh, square tag. <clears throat> this is like, again, one of like my, one of my favourite trainers. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, pick yeah. these up. Yeah, DS. Again, it's just it's just so nice. So, well, this is a, a retro. I've got an older one, but it's in a box somewhere crumbling. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't, yeah. This. So I suppose, like, when you talk about material, like, this was revolutionary. Like, the mm -hmm. 3M, just the look of it, like an all-silver trainer. I don't think, apart from, like, the um, Adidas, like, the Micro Pacer, I don't, there wasn't really a lot of, like, silver trainers yeah. that I kind of remember, but this, Full air bubble, it's just, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it looks so futuristic when it first came out yeah. as well. You know I, I mean? think it does now. Like, look mm. at it, it's crazy. It's silver. So I've got that, and then I've got those ones, which are a bit more summery. Nice. Um, oh, I've also got. got these ones. So when it was. Um, one of the events at, um, at Night Town for Air Max Week, this was uh, the trainer that I wore. Nice. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I think again, don't they don't get loads of love. I think maybe they're coming back a little bit. Planet Racer, so. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, cause a bit of mayhem. I think these dropped like last summer, like when they mm -hmm. like 
brought them back out again. So got that one uh, and just these ones. Although have I worn these ones? Oh no, I haven't, I haven't worn those yet. Well, did I buy them? I must have bought these a few years ago, 2013. Jeez. Uh, I definitely not. No, I definitely haven't. No, I've not worn them. So, yeah. Wow. I've worn those once. I wore those to Sneaks and Peaks last year. <laughs> this. I suppose it was like one of the trainers, uh, as you can see, I wore this quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, this is what really got me into Nike, uh, the Max 95. Um, so this is, I think it's that white Comet Red. Um, I picked these up in the US, I think these are 90, 98, so 90, so three years after wow. it came out. Um, I love them, absolutely love them, as you can see, I wore them a lot. And I remember mm -hmm. wearing them to, I think it was Eminem's first gig in the UK, it was when he played at Manchester Academy, so they're a super like, tiny, tiny place. Oh, geez. And I wore them to the gig. I would never do that now, but yeah, such mm -hmm. a nice trainer. But um, yeah, it's uh, definitely seen seen better days. <clears throat> wow. So the story behind these. Okay. There you go. Nice. Story behind these is I actually had these from '97. I've got a picture of me um, on holiday in America with on my sunbed with my, with my, my bikini on, wearing these um, in the picture back in '97. Mm -hmm. And then I stupidly, like, because I had loads of trainers, I gave them to a friend's sister when I was at uni. Oh, no. And then I found these on Clet that I managed to buy them, like, mm -hmm. yes. And then the guy, the seller was in America, and they sent them, and I was waiting for ages for the parcel to come, and when they came, they had a Max Light 2 in the box. They didn't have these, and I was like, oh my God, sort of thing. So I went back to him and realised, actually, in some of the correspondence, even though I'd been, I'd, like, paid for the right ones. I think in the invoice I must have wrote Max like two instead of and he had twos as well that he was selling. Really nice guy. He then sent me these at like no charge and then was like, I'll just keep Max like two. Oh dope. Story behind these is that so these are the trainers. <clears throat> so when I was younger, so I was about uh, maybe like seven or eight, my nan bought me like my first branded pair of trainers mm -hmm. and it was this model. Um, so I had those as my first trainers. So then when my sister was born, so there's 13 years between me and my sister she was born I bought her these as well mm -hmm. um, and then I thought right I want these to be my baby's first trainer so that's why I went and bought these oh, so the and you can, as you can tell they are like the OG ones lots mm -hmm. of um, DS but yeah OG little little baby ones Dave White's yeah yeah you know you can't go wrong with that colorway mm -hmm. um, yeah great collab so nice <clears throat> I'd love the other shoes in the series but I don't know if they done them in my size but yeah on my lunch hour and I was going to a wedding and I was like, oh, I'll go to like Selfridges, I need to buy some shoes, shoes, and I didn't. I left them with her trainers, the <laughs> Liberty like blazers, which I've never worn. Hey. <laughs> Gladiator's handle. <laughs> Had to be done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like quite funny, like I was at my um, parents' house and uh, my sister was at work and I was like scooting around in her wardrobe and I found these and she's got the white ones as well. Mm -hmm. I managed to basically like convince her to like sell me these, so I was pretty happy with that. Nice. But she hadn't worn either pair, but she's like me, she'll buy stuff and she doesn't wear it. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe this year I'll try and get the white pair out of her because she's definitely not worn them. So, no, well, that's that's amazing. I mean, obviously, there's so much heat in the collection. Um, obviously, I still can't get over the fact you still got warriors in your collection as well. That's Sorry. literally every person, well, I think pretty much nearly everyone we've been to so far. Um, that's got, they're just taunting you, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're just like, look at, look at this. Or they're this. kind of saying you need to do it. Could be a sign, could be a sign, you know, but to um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm sure my bank balance will appreciate <laughs> it. But no, thanks so much for letting us come in and obviously raid your collection. Okay. Um, you know, there's so much writing here as well, which is always really great. Um, you know, and obviously if there's anything to take away from today, it's just wear your shoes, Wear people. your shoes, yeah, definitely. Wear your Don't wear let them shoes. gather dust yeah. in the cupboard. Yeah, wear rock them. them. Rock them, don't stop them. Another pair of Warriors, really, ah, it's just getting silly, man, trust me. But yo, on the plus side, Really dope collection of baby shoes, really dope collection of Insta Pump Furies, 90s Harachis, and a load of other very good stuff in the collection. So, Mighty Boosh, big up to you for letting us come through and raid your collection. Really appreciate it. Remember to comment below, let us know what you're feeling. Would you buy baby shoes? Do you collect baby shoes? Let us know. Let us know what you thought of the shoes in the collection as well. Comment below, let us know what you thought of the collection. Would you buy baby shoes? Would you buy 90s trainers that might crumble on your feet as well, just for collection purposes? Let us know what you think. Also remember to rate and subscribe, check out the previous episodes, and keep it locked for next time where we check out a 4,000 plus sneaker collection. Trust me, 4,000 pairs, man, it is insane. The shoes are all over the house. Like, I, it's so overwhelming. My name's DJ Cable, you're watching Digging in the Creps. This is Crep Junkie TV. Take care, peace.